Hello sharks! Welcome back! Today I am going to finally get this painting done that I need to get done for years for my friend Dave, Wally. And so I'm going to be doing the lighthouse in Port Austin. It's called the Port Austin Reef Lighthouse. And um, I've got my picture down. I also um, got another idea from the real Mithril. She says that um, I could call you guys my sharklets or my sharklings. And I, I started thinking about it and I thought, well, what are sharks? Did they swim in a flock? No, herd, no. School. And I thought, oh my gosh, when I'm doing teaching, I can have shark school. <laughs> Anyway, I'm having a, I'm having fun with it, but today I'm going to go ahead and start this, and um, I don't know when I will get this loaded. It's going to take me a while to finish. I'm still not feeling well um, from my huge fall down the stairs the other day. I had lots of x-rays done yesterday. I'm all bruised up. I got bruises everywhere. There's a bruise here on my arm. I got bruised ribs. You name it, I've got it, but I'm so thankful that I am not any worse off because it could have been so much worse. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start this painting. Now, there are some trees in the background that come in right about here with a little sandy beach and then the water down here. And I was thinking about moving this up to the top, but I want to make sure that I have an edge for framing so I didn't want to go any higher. So there's not going to be a lot of water down here. There'll be more sky than water. But I'm going to go ahead and wet this. Uh, to get started, I am using Fabriano Aquarello Watercolor, uh, Fabriano Artistico 100% Cotton Extra White Cold Press Paper. This is 300 GSM, 140 pound paper. I like the extra white. I love the brightness of the extra white, so um, that's why I'm doing it. Uh, today, oh boy, my power has gone out a couple times already. We have, we're right in the heart of a huge windstorm, um, hopefully blowing spring our way, but uh, anyway, it's been horrible here. We have 40 mile an hour sustained winds. They say anything over 55 will cause property damage, and our gusts are at about 70 miles per hour. There are two trees outside my window that I'm afraid are going to they're going to pull right up out of the ground cuz it is very close. They've come close a few times. They're so dense. They're pine trees. Um a Colorado blue spruce and then uh another uh some sort of green pine and um they are definitely bending and they can only tolerate so much. They're older trees, so I don't know. They've got to be about 25-year-old trees. And pine trees don't seem to have as long a life. Maybe they sh root shallow or something. This is the hardest part, is going around all these little areas here to try to keep this. That I don't have to worry about, actually. That's black, so I'm just going to go right over that. That's a good idea. Oh, so anyway, luckily I drive a car that's low profile, and it was blowing me all over the place. I couldn't believe it. This is all sky here, too, right through here, and right across the top here, and then down to the tree line here. Okay, and I'm going to take some ultramarine blue, and I'm just going to zip it across the top here. Need a little more. Get it nice and dark, and then I'm just going to kind of gradually bring it all down. I want to get this 
done before this dries. There we go. Once I get around the hard parts, it'll be easier to bring the sky down. Get my brush wet so I can gradually lighten this too as it comes down. And the same with over here. I might need a little blue here. There we go. That's all orange. I don't want to get this any blue on this because that'll really mess up my color underneath. The blue and the orange is going to look really good together, though. That's why I wanted to go with Ultramarine. It's got such a nice color to it. I was going to use Cobalt, and then I thought, no, nah, I think I'll go with this. Oops, I did get a little blue on that spot of the roof that I did not want to do. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and let that dry. I think I'm going to raise it up a little bit, try to let it fall. I don't like what's going on here. I'm going to just try to spread that out a little bit without ruining this, hopefully. There. Okay. So, now the sky is in. Actually, there's an area I see I missed here. I'm going to go in with a finer brush, though, because it's right around the top of the tower there, the light. So I'm going to take this fine brush, and I'm just going to go in with my blue. I'm going to turn this upside down. It'll be easier. And that way I can go in. Oops, that's too wet. Too blue, too. Whew. Got some concentrated blue on there. I love Fabriano paper, but I have to say the arches blocks are better. I still got some bowing here a little bit from the paper because it isn't glued down real tight. I like how tight the arches is glued down. It makes it more challenging to remove, but um, it's just, it's nicer to work with. I should have used that, but it's... A little rougher grain. Their their cold press paper is a little bit rougher, and um, I'm just trying to mix this here a little bit. But I'm just making it worse over there. Gotta leave it alone. Leave it alone. Well, hopefully that'll dry okay. Okay, now I brought this blue into here because it's just a railing, so. All right, now I need to figure out my tree colors. Um, let me pull my picture up here again. Looks like a fall scene back there. So I'm gonna mix up some greens. Got some greens. I can actually mix this into my ultramarine also to make a different green. And then maybe some yellows. Okay.
there's a hair. Hmm. I was at my doctor's appointment today talking to them about my disability and being cut off and how I couldn't believe that painting is what their reasoning is for me to go back to work. And my doctor said, oh, do you, do you have any paintings that I can see? <laughs> and I said, well, sure, I can show you my paintings. So I was digging some out of my phone. And oh my gosh, he loved them. <laughs> it was very nice. Okay, now I'm going to do that. That red is too bright. I need to bring that red tone down. I'm going to use some of my quinacridone magenta in there a little bit. Oops. Just to bring this red tone down a little. There. And then I want to use this. This was actually the color I had mixed for my um, roof line, but that is not going to work now because I mixed colors into it. So, Then the rest is going to be sand because it is very sandy there. I'm going to go ahead and speed this along. Right here you'll notice that on the left side the red looks a little darker and it's supposed to be that way on the roof because that is in shadow. I probably should have had it even more, um, more deep in value but I didn't do that so I think in it shows better in person than it does on camera this is a commission painting ordered by a friend of mine um, it's taken me a long time to get around to doing it but anyway I just wanted to remind you guys that it is commissioned so please do not copy this painting on my non-commissioned works, I don't mind you guys copying, but on this, I'd appreciate if you did not. Thanks so much. to tell you a little bit about what I'm doing here. What I did here on the bottom was to try to get the concrete on this wall to match. I'll show you what the photo. Uh-oh, shoot. I got to turn this music off again or I'm going to get in trouble. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Copyright. I don't want to get my video scammed.
or shut down. Okay, here's the picture. Oh, so you can see what I was doing with the wall here. There's this dark area, the staining on the concrete, and then there's like this green and white and stuff all over it. So that's what I was doing here with this wall. It looks like I still need to add a little more white up here, but but anyway, so you can see what I'm doing and I'm getting there. I just there's a lot of brick on this wall. It's all small brick and there's a lot of black staining and stuff. This used to have windows at the top here and um it looks like the windows were all removed at some point. This this building is so old. So, um, anyway, I'm going to have to put that in and the other lines. But I'm using ink for some of it, too. And uh, I ended up using the white gouache and also mixed some white in with some sap green to get the mossy look. And that really helped, too. Um, but now I'm putting in some of my black work here for the, the conveyors and all of the machinery they have going on over here. So, um... Anyway, that's it. Back to work. go so quick here and you probably can't even see it but I'm putting in darker little splotches on the um, building for brick that's what I was doing with the brush there Okay, so this is the finished uh, painting. I haven't put the flag on, and I don't know if... Yeah, I think I'll put the flag on. That's the one thing i got to do, and then it'll be finished. So I'll uh, go ahead and put the flag on, and then I will be done. Let me see now. How am I going to do that? Uh, I just decided to do red and blue because it's dark enough that it'll go over the sky. And then I'm going to put my white in on top of them, either with pen or with gouache. I need that blue to go all the way to the top here. There. Now I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to try to put the white in. I'll see what happens. Yikes. <laughs> let me dry it real quick. Hope I didn't just ruin this. It looks like this paint is pretty thick, which means my pen's probably going to have trouble going over it, so 
Let's see if I can do that. Get it to write again. These pens skip. There we go. Okay, so I got some stars. I can't get this last one on here. Darn it. And now I gotta do some stripes. There's not gonna be enough stripes, I can tell you right now. But at least you get the hint that it's a flag. <laughs> there. Okay. Set that ink. I think I'm finished. So that'll be it. I'm just going to go ahead and sign it. I think I'll sign it with my pen here. And I want to sign it fairly high so that the mat is not in the way. So I'll sign it right about here. There we go. Alrighty, now it's done. That's it, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the painting. I will talk to you soon. Remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Have a great day, everyone. God bless. Bye-bye.